All right, so when you receive your Moby Track, this is the way it'll typically come is on an LTL or a container uh, type of a carrier. And so what that, uh, in fact, Corey, would you hold that up just the, the little bolt that you, so these pieces basically signify, it may or may not be there, could be a padlock, but you'll, yeah, it has a serial number on it. You typically would want to have to cut that with a bolt cutter. Um, so once you cut that, uh, that's the seal to open it. And then uh, once the um, back doors are open, you'll be able to have full exposure of the Moby Track. Moby Track is going to be tied down. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll call this uh, somewhat standard procedure that it's, you're going to have ties in the back. And, you know, we have not experienced any shipping uh, problems or damages, but I would strongly encourage you to, as soon as it is open like this, obviously it's exciting to get that first view of it, but you're going to want to take a walk around, crawl up in there, and just take a quick visual look. There's not much room, it's very tight, but you just take a walk through, look to see if there's any shipping damage. Um, you're really going to not be able to see much, it's fairly dark in there, bring a flashlight. Uh, but then the next steps and the addition of this video will be uh, removing them and that's when you're going to want to look it over to make sure that there isn't anything of finer details of damage. So um, that's uh, how you'd want to open up the trailer and prepare for removing the Moby Tracks uh, from the container or the, um, uh, the transit company. So. Thank you. So once you've found yourself at the loading dock or whatever method you're going to use to actually uh, remove it, what you're going to want to do is uh, the manual should be found, uh, a standard procedure has been that the, the manual will be found in the, the operator seat. Uh, I encourage you to review that as much as possible, but usually um, you're under pressure to get it off the trailer. But there's a main switch right on the back side. It'll be very evident when you uh, take a quick walk around the machine. Uh, that's the main power switch. So you're going to want to uh, plug that in, turn that on, and then uh, again using, we'll call it standard operating procedures for a diesel engine, you're going to want to know uh, glow, how to operate the glow plugs and those type of things. I'm going to make an assumption that you know that if you do not know how to work with a diesel engine, you're going to want to find that out um, right away. So uh, it's quite dark in here. There actually are lights. Uh, on most of the units. It's an option that is usually there so you can turn those lights on But I just encourage you that you're gonna be walking around in a fairly dark container uh, until you do that. So uh, At this point in time, we'll fire it up and we'll begin to uh, Move it out. You want to be just very cautious and use very slow movements because you're probably not familiar with how to operate the Moby track and so um, just want to be very patient. Have uh, you won't have a skilled Moby Track operator, but you want to have somebody that has good mechanical sense in removing it from the container. Also, when you're doing this, uh, you're going to find that there is some exhaust, so you're going to want to try to be diligent at getting it out the door. But I also want to tell you that um, you typically are going to find, in most cases, there Corey turned on the, the, the lights up front, you're typically going to find that the, uh, the pallet of any attachments is usually going to be in the front of the machine. Uh, well, I'll come back and show you the rest as we remove it. So when you're backing it out, it's, it's uh, really kind of, a, in our case, it's a very, very tight spot, extremely tight. Uh, maneuverability we've done this before many many times so uh, let's let's just say we're skilled at it but backing it out of a container especially in, in our case we actually have a bit of a lip this lip right here this lip right here that um, when you drop off from there it uh, it's a little scary when you do it the first time because we have about a foot drop but we've received two Moby tracks here and we've moved the one off uh, our operator, skilled operator, uh, is about ready to, in this particular case, this one is going out the door right away for delivery. Um, we're going to do, we're going to do some, some prep on it, make sure everything's good to go. This is where it gets a little bit, a little bit, uh, not tricky, but it's, it's challenging, uh, to experience that. 
So this one we're going to load it right under the trailer. Nice job. Loading it up. Nice work.